to talk about mobile data spies and how they work, how we can change them. I'm going to sign in while we're doing this here. Get signed into Hexagon EAM Mobile and you'll see it takes me to the work order screen with three work orders. These work orders Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, my tablet died. As I was saying, in e Hexagon EAM Mobile, the default data spy will show me my open work orders. That is work orders that are a system status of released, assigned to me, or created by me. So if someone assigns me a work order and work orders are assigned to an employee record, so we need to make sure the employee record is tied to the username, that's under work setup employees, if the employee and the user are set up correctly, when a user logs in, they should see work orders that are a system status of released and assigned to them, or work orders they create will show up as well. So if a user wants to see a different work order other than assigned to them open, they'll have to change the data spy, just like we do in EAM on the computer. To change the data spy on a mobile device, we go to the menu, and we go to settings. Under settings, we're going to go to sync config. And if you can't find sync config on Android, I believe it's under the sync data menu or sub menu. When we open sync config, notice at the top, there's a checkbox that says download work orders. What this is, is this screen is showing us everything that we're downloading when we sync the app to EAM, when we sync our tablet. So we filled this out. I guess you could say we filled out these check boxes. When we first signed into this device, it asked us these questions, these check boxes, and it's asking us again here when we go to sync config, what do you want to sync? Well, what I'm going to do this time is check on that Ford data spy under my download work orders. When I check it, it opens up a box here. In that box, you'll see that there's only one data spy. So let's pause here and we're going to go to EAM real quick and I'm going to show you where to add data spies. All right, now you should be looking at EAM. In EAM, I have an administration menu here and I have a subfolder in administration I named mobile. Under mobile, this is where I put the QR code setup that we covered in the QR codes video. And this is also where I have my mobile work orders. Now the mobile work orders is a screen that you'll need to add to your menus if you're an admin super user. You can add this to menus for user groups. If not, you may need to ask your administrators or super users for help with this, but you'll need the mobile work orders in your menus to create mobile data spies. When we go to the mobile work order screen, this will show us our mobile data spies. Any data spy you create here can be used on the mobile devices. So here we're going to just hit edit. You'll also, a side note here, you'll need permissions to create and edit data spies to be able to do this. You'll also need some permissions on changing mobile settings. I'll show you those in a second before we get back to the tablet here. I'm going to copy, as always, we like to copy a data spy. So here we'll just say all open work orders. And instead of my user ID at the top here, we're just going to do a system status equals release. This should show me all of the open work orders for my organization. So here we can make it where all the users can use it by making this global. That's another security permission your username will need under user setup, whether we can create global data spies or not. And then here we do a save. I wouldn't recommend making that default just because it'll slow down your login and syncing time when they sign on and sync the device. Looking at all open work orders would probably take a lot longer than just looking at the user's created work orders or assigned work orders. 
Okay, now you'll see this is showing me all open work orders. There's 16 in this environment. This is a brand new fresh environment here. Now, we're going to flip back over and turn the iPad on. Whoops, not that button. That button, there we go. And now that we have the iPad back up, I'm gonna get out of here. And we gotta, if I can get out of there and quit tapping, we need to do a sync. We're gonna sync real quick. And this should download all the latest and greatest changes we've made, including data spice. And just like that, it's done syncing. I obviously skipped ahead, so not to bore you waiting for my Wi-Fi here to sync us up. Now, we're synced. Let's go back to settings. Remember, we were changing the data spy. So let's go to settings and see if the data spy we just created on the mobile work order screen will show up in mobile. We go to settings and we go to where? Sync config. On sync config, we hit for data spy and look at that. It shows all open work orders. Now we're going to choose all open work orders and the last step we have to do is hit the little teeny tiny floppy disk in the bottom right corner of your screen. Very small down there. When you do that, it pops up and tells you it's saved at the top. It gives you a success message and then it goes by. Okay, now when we're done with that, we'll have to go back to the hamburger, the menu there, three little lines in the top left and we get to the menu and we do a sync data. Now this one's gonna take a little bit longer than the last one just because there's 16 work orders it's gonna download instead of three. Uh, in your environment, this obviously, the, the speed here could really vary greatly. Okay, while that's syncing, let's look in EAM. There are a couple of things that you're going to need on your username. We're on the username for me. And you're going to need allowed data spy edits. That's so that EAM knows you're allowed to create uh, data spies and edit them. So that's important since we are making edits to a data spy. And then the other one is you need over here to allow changes to the mobile settings, which is in the list of checks on the right down low. And if you have those two items checked on your user, you should be able to do these changes we've been talking about in EAM and on mobile. If you need help with this, as always, just reach out, let us know. I'm more than happy to help out any way we can. And we will catch you on the next one. Oh, wait. No. I was going to show you that what we did worked. Let's see. Turn the iPad back on. There it goes. We'll turn the computer off. And now you see that we have all 16 of our work orders here. So what we did did work. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.